Well guys, it's wrapped and we are ready to start our today's journey. Let's go. Good evening everyone, good evening from Suvar Nabumi Airport. Usually I do my vlogs at daytime, but today I'm traveling international flight outside Thailand. So I just arrived to the airport and it's only 500 Thai baht from Prakanung to the airport. Things has changed at the arrivals and the departures you are going to see now. First of all, let's go and check what time is our flight. As you can see from the pictures, the airport is super busy. It's around 8.30 now. And you can see how busy this day is Suvarnabhumi Airport. Last week I've made a vlog and told you I'm going to experience while I'm traveling outside Thailand and tell you if you really have to come to the airport before three to four hours. And you can see from the pictures how busy. Long queues to check in. So first of all, let's check what time is our flight. After that, we're gonna see how much time you need in order to check in. So here we are guys, let's check our flight is at 1.45 I guess, 1.50. So our flight is with Qatar Airways as you can see and the row is M. Let's check if the check-in is open or not. This is Mrs. Wrap as an information. It's only 200 Thai baht if you want to wrap your bags, whatever the size is, it's only 200 Thai baht and it's available almost in every entrance at the departures floor. So we have plenty of time. The first thing we are going to do is VAT refund. I'm gonna show you how to get your VAT refund. I have a laptop with me. By the way, I've bought it in Christmas and let's check if we can make the VAT refund because almost three months for that. As you can see the sign there, the blue one VAT refund is located at the end of the departures floor. Hopefully it's not too much crowded. Let's check. You need traffic police to walk these days at the airport. Well guys, mission failed because we couldn't refund the VAT. So this is an information for you. If you buy any product from Thailand, you have to take it out before 60 days unless you cannot get VAT refund. So I have bought this laptop in Christmas, I guess, and it's more than 60 days. So we couldn't get the VAT refund. That was and information for you if you are going to buy anything from Thailand. So if you are staying more than 60 days, then you cannot get the money back. Anyway, guys, that's not a big deal. It's only 1,700 Thai baht, around $60, I guess. Now let's do the second mission, which is much more important. Let's check in and see how long it will take to check in these days if you are traveling from Suvarnabhumi Airport. This is for checking online. So I will just drop my bag because last week, as you saw, I came to the airport and I saw this crazy check in queue. So I have checked in online and now it's only this row to put your bags and move on.
Well, that was fast because if you have checked in online, then it will take around 30 minutes. But if you haven't checked in online, then you are going to wait a long time. So guys, as an advice, check in online if you can, and you are going to save a lot of time. Another information guys, if you have a visa and you want to come back to Thailand on that visa, you have to take a re-entry permit, either from the immigration office before you come to Suvarnabhumi airport, or you can take it before you go out from the airport. So keep that in mind. If you want to enter Thailand on the same visa that you have on your passport, so you have to take the re-entry permit before you leave Thailand, unless the visa will die. So guys, now that we have checked in, let's go past the immigration and see you at the duty free. The worst thing guys, once you pass the security, you have to remove your laptops, your electronics, even your shoes nowadays in most of the airports. After that, you have to put everything back. That's the worst part once you are traveling from the airport. Now we are at the duty free zone and I'm gonna show you a little bit around as you can see life is back to this airport last time I was departing from here the airport was empty the duty free most of the shops were closed now everything is back on track it's really lovely to see this airport back to life I'm gonna show you a little bit around after that we're gonna check the food options and later we are going to walk to our gates as i said today i'm traveling first to doha and later i'm going to lebanon and of course after that back to thailand in songkran so that we can catch up the songkran festivals and of course upload it on our channel live love thailand now as i said let's check a little bit food options eat something before we walk to our gate Well, we had a whooper. The average meal at the airport is between 300 to 600 Thai baht. This is an airport, of course, not cheap, but as I said, it's better than eating the plastic meal at the plane. Now let's walk to our gate, which is E7. That was a long walk. So here we are guys, this is our gate. I call this place, this zone, the lonely zone. After you pass the immigration, the duty free, 
you do everything and now we have almost 30 minutes to board in so guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the departures this days from suvarnabhumi airport as you saw it's super crowded if you want to come come at least before two three hours and my advice to you if you check in online that is much more better so as i said i'll be spending my easter vacation and come back at songkran so keep an eye on the channel stay tuned and subscribe for more from live love thailand Thank you, Melissa.